Hello friends, welcome to Design Hub YouTube channel where you can learn design related stuff like graphic designing, motion graphics, 3D art, logo designing and much more. So please subscribe to my channel and keep updated with all the designing stuff. In this video we are going to make this cool sweeping circle animation which is very useful in transition while your videos are playing or your video intros or some cool gifs which you want to upload on your web pages so without wasting much time let's get straight into the after effects so first we have to create a new composition with the given settings and 25 frames per second our duration will be or a maximum to 3 seconds and uh, background color here we will choose some dark color other than the black so i'm choosing the dark blue color here okay click okay okay now we are going to make some new shape layer okay and we will add a ellipse in it okay ellipse and we will add a stroke to it stroke now we will play the properties of the ellipse so click on the stroke option and uh, we will increase its width okay 30 is enough and uh, now we will increase its size and position size okay and we will add a trim path to it trim paths okay now we will adjust the starting and end points of this trim path so first we have to add the keyframes at the starting and end of our animation so first at the start and let's say how we want our animation around 1.5 seconds so we will add and keyframes here now we will adjust these values first start and end values will be 0 0 okay now the end of animation we will put start and end values to 100 100 okay now we will offset these start value okay then our circle animation will be visible okay let us play no. it is not looking that much good so we will just add okay let us play okay cool we will easy ease by pressing f9 and go to graph editor and adjusting the nodes here put them left and the left one drag them to the left so this will be some this much animation okay now it is looking great now we have to increase its size so we will increase the size of the ellipse okay ellipse path and we will increase its size but it will be much shorter now it will be really good okay okay, okay. display okay cool now we will add another shape layer and we will just copy it control d okay we will just increase its size and change the color to something different like red okay we will feel its size such like this and this and increase its stroke a little bit let's say 40 okay and again we will increase its size okay 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 now we just move the upper layer some frames some frames to the right like two frames okay let's play okay it is looking really cool okay now three frames one frame to this okay okay 
you want frame is cool if you want two frames you can take the two frames also not much difference okay now we will create another shape layer just we will duplicate second one control plus t and we will just change its size and this time we will be decreasing its size because we want the center animation right now okay okay so we have to just be careful so that this is not happening Okay, it is perfect now. Now we just increase the stroke and it will be fine. Stroke and again we have to increase the size so that it won't be looking like this. Okay. It I think it is perfect. Okay. Okay, 77 is perfect. We just change its color to say aqua blue. Okay, perfect. Okay, we just fit. Okay, so we just increase the first and second layer size. Okay, ellipse and size. Okay, and second also. Okay, good. And now we will just copy the second layer and again play with its size and increase it. So, this time we will make it shorter also. We will change its width, store width. Okay, so it is 40. Now we will make it 30. Okay, and now we will add some dashes to it. Okay, dash map. So it is good. Okay, cool. We will now just change the color. Okay. This shape layer will take green okay and first one we will take it to the more vibrant light we say something yellow okay now let's just create okay now move first second third First and second, second, two frame per Okay, so we will just play the end values of it. Press the U, and it will show all the active keyframes. Okay. Okay. Now they are ending at the same time. Okay. This is looking really cool. Okay. Now we will add some drop shadow. So we will just decompose all the shape layers and move to new composition. Now we will go to effects and presets. If you will find effects and presets here, just go to Windows 
and it is here okay so we will drive the drop shadow and it is there okay okay now we will just play with the values like distance will be no 25 is much further okay and turn is enough and we will get this of this 53 like 15 okay 15 is capacity we will down it 25 percent okay and we will increase some more distance okay let's say 32 okay okay perfect so friends we have made this simple animation in a very short period of time it looks much cool and professional and you can use it for your stuff related to animation so thanks for watching the video and keep subscribing sharing